Hello and welcome back to another video in the RD350 video series and today's topic is carbs. Yeah. Carbohydrates, not the carbs which you eat. See, see, uh, in fact this reminds me of a joke that you know all carbs are good. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're talking about RD350 carburetors. Uh, are you know RD350, the RD350, uh, you know carbs. Uh, if they were any different than you know uh, the RD 350 A and B carbs, and if at all they have any advantage or disadvantages, Gaurav Bhai, please once again enlighten us. Sure. So uh, the Indian RD 350 carburetors, when it was launched, uh -huh. uh, the so-called famous Japanese Mikoni made in Japan carburetors, where if you look very carefully, because one of the MIC logo is chopped. And there is a casting feature which had been used on some later bikes for adjusting the slide. The, 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 the M is missing. So is the that... M is missing. Basically, they have put a feature right over the M. OEMs generally don't do that. Uh -huh. If they have to modify the thing, at least bare minimum they will remove the logo from there or completely the... and put it somewhere else. So yeah. it suggests because our carburetor is unique in its own sense, I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. uh, most probably Yamaha had taken the spare development tool did the modification required for India and then gave us made in Japan carburetors. Okay. The biggest clue is that MIC logo being compromised. Where, uh, M is uh, missing. M is missing and you've got that cast uh, window feature. Uh, that suggests that that tool was unique in its own sense. Well, my, uh, I, I just hate to interrupt. If you could elaborate a bit slowly for our viewers no. uh, of, uh, you know, about that modification, which came in, uh, you know, later bikes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, because of which, of course, you know, we got that, uh, you know, again, a work in progress kind of a thing. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, if you could, you know, tell our viewers what that modification was. Okay. So, uh, anyone who has done the synchronization of RD350 engine might find it very difficult to look at the slides, whether they are rising and falling simultaneously. Yes. Either you stick your fingers inside, both fingers, uh, you'll be lucky if you don't, uh, don't uh, you know, uh, get your fingers damaged in the process, or lolly sticks or whatnot. Yes. So that's a cumbersome process. You have to remove the... You're talking about, the talking about balancing the carbs? Balance, purely balancing the carbs. Yes. You have to remove the white tube. So Yamaha came up, or Bikuni came up with a... Uh, a very good idea that how about having a window from our side showing the top of the slide and then at your own comfort just remove those screws or have glass windows and you know from our side you can see both slides are going up and down yes. and you can do the final adjustment without having to remove any screw such a blessing yeah however however we didn't get that we we went back you we went chose back. to go back to the classical yeah. method of tuning with lolly sticks or damaging your fingers so uh, however that cast feature is there okay suggesting that that tool was used for something yes yes and, and again we're tool... talking about you know the first rd 350s yeah. uh, you know that came to india okay and uh, yeah so the first in fact you know you want to know whether your bike if you have an 83 model you want to know whether your bike has that see if the m of mic is missing so you have yeah, that car. And, and we will show you in the photograph. Oh, so, yeah. so why did we take the 360 or 521 carb as it is? Reason being because Yamaha learned some lessons on the mixing of two-stroke oil with the gas. Yes. And for our market, we not only because going back to 360, original A had a low top carburetor. So yeah. it did have the weight. So there were some concerns about slide sticking. Okay. So 350 B also in US uh, introduced the high top carburetor where they put a uh, lead weight inside the slide okay. to help it a little bit along with the spring so that okay. the slide could <coughs> excuse me uh, move easily inside so we got that okay now why did we just plonk the 360 carburetor because uh, Yamaha learned lessons and they wanted to certainly improvise things for us especially now the biggest difference is how you feed the two-stroke oil in the carburetor on 360A, 521 or 360B, the oil is just dumped from the side. So the oil two stroke, uh, duty oil uh, nipple is on the side and the oil just, it streams down, lucky enough to be mixed with the air stream. You're talking about including the 521 as well? Yes, 521 as well. Right. However, however, uh, when Indian bike was launched, uh, they 
make sure that the oil feed goes right below into the throat, into the carburetor inside uh, where your slice just crack opens in the airstream the oil is mixed. Okay. So I would say that uh, our carburetor is slightly superior in terms, in terms of, of mixing. mixing. In terms of mixing. Yeah. So that what had to be done. So uh, obviously uh, again to save the cost they would have uh, uh, gone back to what tools, spare tools they had. Mm -hmm. So. And by the time we were not ready for the localization of the carburetor in India, uh, which happened later, uh, the Mikuni design, VM28 Mikuni design was copied and uh, it can also be found in Bullet 500. Same carburetor with a lot of uh, features common to RD350. Uh, effectively, the casting is same between RD350 and Bullet 500. You just don't do certain drillings. You don't have the two stroke oil drilling, the uh -huh. balance and tube drilling. Uh -huh. To suit the 350 and so, then the jets and slides and needles. Yeah, uh, and balance well. the pipe and everything. Correct. Yeah. So then that brings our next question. The, can you use bullet 500 coverage? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you for guessing that. Uh, yes. So, so <laughs> The, uh, perhaps read my mind. The pain would be, yeah, the pain yeah. would be, yes, you can use. If you are using premix, then uh, you yes, can use with yes. the correct slides and jets and needles. Yes. However, that brings uh, this, this challenge of having a joke, two jokes. Two jokes, one, one joke. on the outside, one on the inside. And Gautam Bhai, please correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. My biggest worry would be, you know, adjusting the idling. Especially okay. when engine is hot. Absolutely. Putting, putting your hand between the valves <laughs> and this. That you know, would take some dexterity. To, to, to make your life worse, if you have decided to go for the oil feed, Oh. Then, uh, then you have to do the drillings and you have to be mindful yes. where you run, you route the oil lines and stuff. Yes, so yes. yes, people, I have seen people using the True. Mica yes. Bullet 500 happily. They have excellent results. Uh -huh. However, the uh, the correct level of carburetor dedicated for RD350 have all the things oriented, handed, left and right absolutely, handed. Absolutely. You know, that makes yeah. life a little bit easy, especially yeah. when every day you have to fiddle with the carbon carburetor, almost every day oh. with the changing <laughs> Variation. So yes, uh, yes. that is that is what it is. It is a hype talk. Uh -huh. And again, where do we stand compared to 521? The major difference between 521 and our carburetor is there is a brass ball in the 521 carburetor. That is to stop all the, the dirt and rain that you yeah, yeah, get stuck into the air feed yes. uh, to the main emulsion. You know, uh -huh. so what Yamaha did or uh, Mikuni did, they, they put a brass ball and rerouted that circuit using an external pipe which goes into the air filter yeah. box 521. Yeah. So, and the jet sizing is different. Uh, again, and we will talk about the yeah. talk about the air filter box uh -huh. and the air filters itself. Yes. But uh, yeah, again, uh, there was a little bit of development which happened between A and B. Uh -huh. However, we didn't get that brass ball because yeah. Uh, again, that would have uh, needed heavy modification or some modification to the air filter box, extra pipes, and that would have added cost. By the way, again, uh, you know, uh, so as far as the mixing is concerned, yes, uh, our car still was superior to even the 521 as far as mixing was concerned? As far as I remember, I haven't seen uh, 521 now. Uh, members watching this video might confirm, uh -huh. but I haven't seen the oil being fed from bottom like it is being fed on HDLP. All right, all right. So uh, all the carburetors which I have seen or experienced, they are all side fed. Okay, uh, like, like, like the 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so I think right. this lesson more must have been learned during the 250, 400. Makes sense, period. makes sense because now we're talking about 83, of course, you know, the development would have started somewhere around 79 yeah. uh, or perhaps, you know, even yeah. slightly before. Yeah. As know. I said, because it's 1A1, then most of the inspirations and lessons learned would Se have come from 400. 78. Yeah, 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 you, have, yeah. you have spent at least uh, another 7 years, 6 to 7 years worth of development. Makes so sense. there's a Makes lot sense. of lessons to be learned which uh, oh, absolutely, I mean, absolutely. the engineers would have been uh, I would say like compelled that this must be done because it doesn't add any extra cost exactly you know yeah, and yeah. it gives a huge advantage towards the reliability of the machine because True. most of the time we would be riding at one fourth one eighth throttle oh, absolutely. and that makes it very yeah, challenging right. you yeah. don't dump otherwise your can case might be full of oil if it is not mixed properly yes you know you will flood your crankcase with two stroke oil so having a 
Indian carburetor with the correct uh, oil feed is actually beneficial. So people who are uh, jumping on the ship of putting a 360 US spec carburetor on the bike might be They're missing. doing a disservice. Uh, yes, might be missing on that advantage. Yes, yes, yes. I would say that they are actually, you know, uh, come to think about it, they are doing a disservice to the engine. And Bullet 500 unfortunately doesn't have those cross drillings and it's such a fine capillary that uh, if, if you are thinking of like taking a bullet 500 and putting the drillings, it will be very difficult. You will find it very difficult. All right. So especially in the outside environment, finding a machine shop who could be keen to give you yeah. that level of accuracy. accuracy and then yeah. you have to plug in the cross drillings. You have to plug in those you, holes. You'll have more peace of mind. Yeah, yeah. Mind it's sourcing it's an eight. original carburetor. Yeah. Than go, you know. Uh, you will be still better off putting a 360 carburetor. All right. Yeah, than, you will be than, still better off uh, okay. 360 B yes, yes. high top carburetor or than, top than 521 uh, 521 or bullet 500. Even 521 is better in a way uh, if you along with that get the correct air box and then put the right air filter. True, 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 true. But uh, that's again holy grail of RD air cooled RD 350. You will hard to find uh, hard the to find, Absolutely. Again, so, uh, built in very small numbers. Yes, yes. So, so that lovely. is what it is. Great. Uh, this was again, uh, you know. I would say. And, and to summarize, yeah, last, yeah, yeah, last yeah. two things. Yeah, yeah. The I was e just going to say that it does enriching. Uh, yes. Uh, just to make it you yes. know, sound. Uh, yeah, you know, if you talk about lean, we talk about rigs and rigs. Because this is an anyway. unscripted video, what we are making. So, these <laughs> Absolutely. aspects are coming to my Absolutely. Mind. Just Please go ahead. The, the, the immersion tube or the automizer, the thread size of Indian RD350 had been commonized with bullet 500. So if you take a US spec 140 jet, you cannot fit it because the thread are coarser and finer. That's the difference. And the idle, uh, the favorite idle screw Screws. outside, the thread is different. So if you uh, happen to go to find a 350 AB uh, immersion tube or jets or the uh, adjustment are from outside, then uh, it will be more fit on India. That's another reason why we needed uh, we needed a carburetor which could be dedicated to Indian market. So it makes even more sense to modify a tool uh, suited for Indian market than just taking 360 and, and uh, going ahead with that. All right, all right, all right. Great, great. Uh, like like Gautam Bhai said, these videos are absolutely unscripted. I mean, come on. You know, we just cannot prepare scripts. And I, I'm i sure, you know, even in my other videos, you've seen that I do not prepare scripts. Okay, it's, uh, you know, on the spot, impromptu, and, uh, you know, it just flows from here and here. So that is what we are doing, <laughs> uh, even in this series as well. And uh, I'll see you soon, of course, with Gautam Bhai in the next video. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you.